Hey everybody, welcome. I just wanted to share this real quick with you guys. From Blue Line Turnings, I got a little Christmas card. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. And I also got from Brick House Craftworks. Sean, uh, I'm sorry, Seth. Sent me a couple of his stickers. Um, I mailed mine out to you. I hope you got them already. But I'm going to go ahead and proudly post you up here. So I'm going to go ahead and put you right up here. Uh, over here. Thank you, Seth. Brickhouse. Brickhouse Craftworks. I'm going to put a link up here and down below. Go check them out, please. And then from Andy's Cornish Creations. He just recently uh, surpassed a thousand subscribers, so he had a giveaway. <coughs> and he sent me this little guy. And let me tell you something it is awesome. Mm -hmm. Andy, I love him. I appreciate you sending it out to me. Kind of got lost in the mail. Took a little while to get here. Uh, we were kind of getting worried that it was never going to show. But your work is amazing. Thank you so much. What I'm going to do now is um, in every one of my videos going forward, you're going to see this little guy somewhere. It's going to be like, where's Waldo? It'll be on the shelf. He'll be behind my lathe. He'll be somewhere. So, I don't know. We're going to call him Little Louie, I think. Thank you so much, Andy. And he also sent me a couple stickers. I'll put that up here on my wall. I'll leave a link above and below. Please, please go check these guys out. You won't be sorry. Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome. I created this little base for a segmented bowl out of scraps I had laying around. I had a couple ideas. I wanted to insert this uh, piece of resin I had left over. I had some leftover pine. I learned a lot making this. Uh, a lot of trial and error, but um, it looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's not perfect. But if you have any interest in seeing me make this, stick around. It should be fun. Hey everybody, welcome. I woke up with this idea to make a base for a segmented piece today. Um, I scrambled through some of my stuff. I have this old piece of regular pine from my uh, previous project. I have these pieces of molding. I cut a piece and I see that it's like a, a walnut. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think when I went, I got it from um, Craigslist. I think the guy said it was mahogany, but I'm not sure anymore. Such a, a while ago. But anyway, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna try to do is cut this stuff up, rip it up, make strips out of it, inlay it into a square piece of pine, and then maybe use this piece of walnut to make a center insert. So that's my vision. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. So I just cut a little square piece. I'm going to go ahead and start ripping this up and trying to make little inserts to go in here, perhaps like that. I don't know. I just realized I found this, uh, this old piece of epoxy that I cut off an old project. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe I'm going to see if I can insert it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is the back of this molding is on an angle, so I'm going to cut it straight, measure the thickness of the piece of pine, pick, because this is on an angle also, so pick the thickest point at that 
ang at the height of the pine and cut kind of try to cut straight strips. So that's <laughs> that's what you're gonna see me do. So I was able to get these two strips from that uh, from that piece of molding. I'm gonna take this piece of pine, you see I squared it up, I'm gonna cut it in half, glue a strip in there. When that dries, cut it in half the other way, glue a strip in there. We'll let that dry and we'll be back in a little bit. All right, this is all dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it the other way and insert another insert. So let's get that done. Let that dry and then we'll be back. All right, this should be pretty dry in a couple hours. Boom. Okay, I have the inserts put in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this glue block on here. But what I wanna do is I wanna insert this old um, epoxy piece in the center there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this on and I'm going to try to cut this, cut a circle out where I can press this on and then re-glue and then re-put the outside back on, if that makes sense. Anyway, that's what you're going to see me do. All right, well, I cut it out. I tried to press this uh, epoxy ring on there and it cracked. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead, I clamped it down. I'm gonna let that dry for a while and then just maybe put some CA glue there and then try to continue. So we'll see how that works out. I'll let this dry for a while. So this should be all glued up. Take it on the lathe and cut this straight and then we'll try to cut this out to fit over it. So let's get that done. As you just saw, I just cut this out here. It's a tight fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to smack it on. I'm gonna use this two-part epoxy. go ahead and try to fill this or something. Darn, I'm so excited. Dude, 
tight. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill this. I'll get back to you guys. I put a couple of popsicle sticks in there with the five minute epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this round, see if it holds. There it is guys, my scrap project. Pine, walnut, and my leftover resin. I learned a lot, it was fun. Um, thank you so much for watching. I wanna wish everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, stay safe, thank you so much.